Hello everyone, my name is MJ Vilches and right now I will be sharing to you how I export my animations into a video format in Blender. You ready? Well, let's get to it then. So yeah, the first thing you need to do, of course, is to make sure that your animation is really ready for rendering. So yeah, just make sure that you have the lighting set up right and also enable the right collections to include in the render and that you also set up a start and end frame and that you've chosen the right render engine. So yeah, just make sure that everything is fine before hitting render because there may be regrets later on. So yeah, just make sure everything's ready. Anyways, after making sure everything's good, next is to set up some output settings and to do that just head over to the rendering workspace uh, you can add this workspace if you don't have it added yet by pressing this plus button right here hover over video editing then select rendering now that we're in the rendering workspace head over to the output properties we have to make sure that we set the right dimensions you can either input the dimensions yourself or choose from the presets available here i usually choose hdtv 1080p here for a full hd render after that just go down to the output settings make sure you set an output folder by pressing the folder icon and choosing a location in your computer where you want to save your video so yeah, for the file format it's actually advisable for longer and heavier animations to render in a png format first or in an image sequence first this is so when the render crashes you can pick up the render to the frame where it ended up crashing and start from there instead of starting all over again so yeah if you're really sure you want to render to a video format just click the file format drop down list here and choose ffmpeg video after choosing that this encoding option will show up just click to expand it and you can either input some settings here or choose from the ffmpeg presets right here i usually choose h264 and mp4 if you're an advanced user you're probably familiar with all stuff here but if you're not an advanced user and you don't have any ideas what these settings are it's really advisable to not touch anything otherwise you're gonna encounter some issues anyways once you've chosen a preset which is in this case we've chosen h264 and mp4 before. The next thing we need to do is to head down to the output quality. I usually set this to lossless on a more serious video projects. And for just quick renders that I want to make, I usually choose perceptually lossless. And for some preview renders, I choose high quality. And yeah, at this point, if you're not rendering your animation with sound, uh, you're done. Actually, you can just hit render animation and your animation will be exported as a video format or as MP4 into the output output location that you've chosen earlier. Anyways, if you want to render the video with sound, just head down to audio settings and in the audio codec drop down list, just choose an audio format. I usually pick AAC since it's one of the standard settings for MP4 videos. And yeah, after setting an audio format, just hit render animation and your video will export into the video format that you've chosen. So yeah, that's how I export my animation into a video format in Blender. And yeah, hope this helps. Thanks for watching. My name is MJ Vilches, and yeah, I actually got lots of videos to render and challenges to overcome. And of course, gotta go back to production caverns because adventure awaits.